bien, bien, vieni via di qui. Niente più ti lega questi luoghi, neanche questi fiori azzurri. Via, via, neanche questo te. The pot that I did the arrangement in was a pot that I found in my backyard. We asked the last homeowners that lived here to leave everything they had in that gazebo and they had a bunch of cool pots in there. So it's an old chipping up one and it worked really good for the arrangement. And it was brown. I don't mind the brown comment. I was just teasing around. I just think it's funny when people leave funny comments. Um, the succulents, I'll put the link here for them. I got some of them on Amazon. I think I had two packs of those. And then I got the spiky things, the big thing in the middle and the other big spiky things were from Nest in the Desert. And I don't know if they ship, but they are local in, in Oro Valley and they have a really cool shop. I think now that I'm looking at the succulent links, I had two of those packs that I linked on the last story and then one of these, I'll put it here on this story from last year. And it all worked out really good for my pot. My pot was huge. So you could obviously make a smaller pot with even one of the succulent things, but for that one, I definitely needed more of those. And I see some of those big, huge faux succulent pots online that are like hundreds of dollars. So it was just fun to make it myself. If you guys have never heard of Junk in the Trunk, I hope you guys will go if you're local or even if you're not. I know some of you have flown in for that before. They have tons of vendors. I'll, I'll put the link here again for where you can get the tickets. Uh, a couple of my friends and I are going Friday night and Friday night, I like the best. It's kind of a quieter night. I mean, the, the weekend is really busy. Oh, hi. Hi. Uh, but Friday night is a little quieter and you get first pick of everything. And I, I want to call it a vintage market, but it's not just vintage. They have like a lot of other vendors that like hand make stuff. I mean, I've gotten tons of other things there that are not just vintage, but they have lots of cool vintage. The code for Sheila's shop is still good and it's site wide this time, not just on the mustard seed necklaces. So she has hexagon circle. This is the mountain mustard seed and those are real mustard seeds in there. She makes tons of cool jewelry. She has other mustard seed ones. She has other things too, not just mustard seed necklaces. This is the mushroom that is so adorable that she made me. It's made out of epoxy and those are real pine cones and moss and there's a little mustard seed on top. And then I love how the candle or the little light in there kind of flickers. She custom makes these and has different kinds too, not just this one, but this is the one with copper. And then, like I said, the mush or the moss and the pine cones on top with a little mustard seed. And it comes with a scripture card. Some of her necklaces come with scripture cards too. I love she. And I always say these would make such great gifts too, because it's just a great reminder to continue having faith, like the mustard seed verses in the Bible. And she she also did the ones for Hallie's wedding. I sent her some of Hallie's dried florals and she crushed them up and put them into jewelry for me. So she does custom stuff too. Niente più ti lega questi luoghi.